Hello everyone, this is Alex of Vending Machine Support and I just wanted to show you uh, real quick about what we call motor configuration on an AMS vending machine. And what this does is this actually gets the control board to go out and look at all the available motors it has to vend from. This may be useful if you've changed your tray configuration or you've moved some motors around or if you've got some motors that don't work but yet they work when you test vend it, you might want to go to your motor configuration to have the control board go back out and recount those motors. So to do that, we need to press the service mode button on the inside. So we'll go ahead and open up the main door, go to the top left hand side, open the monetary door, we'll go ahead and press the service mode button. One time we get a single tone, let us know that we've entered that. And then here I'm going to come around and press the pound key. Now I'm keeping the door slightly ajar, I don't want to close the door all the way. If I do, we'll put the machine back into sales mode. I'm going to go ahead and press the pound key until I get down to tray setup. Now at this point, if I press 6, the board is going to go out and look at all of the motors in this machine. So I'll do that now. I'm pressing 6, it says configure, and you wait a few seconds, and it's going to report back 40 motors. Now I have 8 motors on this particular machine, which is a BEV40, which is a drink version machine with 40 selections in it. Each tray has 8 motors to it with 5 trays, that gives us 40 motors. Now if I did that tray, uh, tray set up in the motor configuration and press six, and I ended up with 38 motors, then I'm missing two motors and I can hunt down to see where those motors were, are. They may be unplugged, they may be dead completely. So there's a quick uh, little troubleshooting tip I wanted to bring to your attention if you're operating in these AMS machines. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.